Yeah, so Sorong Vazai is 50 and 5 and 1 with 43 knockouts. He's 5'3, 63 and a half inch reach, 35 years old. He last beat Echoit Sunwi on March of last year. And Quadris is 39, 4 and 1, 27 knockouts, 5'4, 66 inch reach, 33 years old. He last lost to Juan Francisco Estrada by knockout on October of 2020. Now, this is for the vacant WBC World Super Flyweight belt, and there's a lot at stake as the winner could potentially ultimately find themselves in unification against Chacotito or Julio Martinez or Juan Francisco Estrada, however that's worked out. But uh, so Rungvazai in the 2014 fight, he lost the Quadras by technical decision after eight rounds when the fight was stopped on the cut to Quadras' eye from a clash of heads. Um, at the time, the scores were 77-75, 77-74, and 78-73. Now, since then, Sora Rungwazai has beaten Chocotito twice and Estrada, although Estrada avenged that loss. Quadras hasn't found a whole lot of success since then, or as much success, rather. Uh, he's lost to Chocotito. Uh, he's also lost to McWilliams Arroyo and Estrada as well. Now, although Sora Rungvazai hasn't fought top competition since that Estrada lost in 2019, I believe, uh, he has been staying busy and has built his confidence back up. Uh, I'm a little concerned about Quadra's 17-month layoff, though, because, you know, especially after the war he was in with Estrada, and I'm not sure how he will have recovered from that. Um, he also hasn't fared well anytime he's taking steps up in competition like this, um, save for the first Sun Rubberzai fight, of course. But uh, this is one of those instances where I'm going to rely less on like technical boxing expertise or um, you know things of that nature and more on what I see going into the fight. Um, I personally think that physically, so Rubberzai will be more prepared uh, going into the fight. And although I think Quadras will be game mentally, I don't think, yeah, I just don't think he'll be the same Quadras he was when he fought in 2014 or even the same one in 2020 um, before he lost to Estrada. Uh, I love both fighters, and I almost don't want us to either lose, even though it's setting up for another great fight. But if I had to pick, I think uh, Quadras is going to be so game, he's going to get stopped late by Sora Rungwazai. Yeah, bet, man. That's this. That's a, uh, I think that's a, a very good assessment of where both guys are. And so, you know, when you look at each guy's um, skills that they bring to the table, you know, I like Quadras too. I like both of these guys. These, the 115 pound weight class, you know, is kind of slept on. You know, a lot of people, they know about Chocolate Tito, they know about, um, Estrada, you know, maybe not as much, but and run beside a little bit as well. But I'm just saying that everyday average person, you know, I think that I wish they they knew more about these guys because they are very highly skilled. Now they both getting a little bit longer than two, but um, when you look at run beside man, that that rough and tough lefty stance that he's in, but he's just like a tugboat, you know, he hits like a Mack truck. You know, he sits in there, and when he lands his shots on those smaller guys, it's just it's a thudding um, response, you know, that, that happens. You know, once he gets to land those shots, you can't stand in front of him too long without some serious damage being done. He's a really small, left-handed, kind of a better beef um, type of fighter. Quadris, on the other hand, he, he's an aggressive fighter. You know, he has some power as well. And he kind of bridges the two together to kind of overwhelm his opponents. He's unorthodox with his attacks, but at the same time, him being so unorthodox, that sometimes leave him leave him open for counters against the fighters that he's faced. You know, you mentioned the first fight. I thought that was a really good fight. It was Quadris was having his way, you know, early on. He was landing like the more flashier punches and he was kind of snapping Rumba's head back 
with those flashy shots, but he wasn't really doing that much damage to Rumble aside, but he just landed the flasher punches. But Rumble aside just kept pushing forward, kept pushing forward. And also with Quadra's excessive movement that he was doing, Rumbasai began to start breaking him down slowly but surely. And it was evident in the seventh round when he hurt Quadra's pretty badly. And the ensuing round, they end up having that clash of heads and they stopped the fight. I think that had they not stopped the fight in the eighth, Rumbasai was on the verge of stopping Quadras, or that was going to be a very close fight had Quadras been able to make it all 12 because the fight was definitely going in Rumbasai's direction. But based on what I saw in that seven, it looked like it wasn't much longer he was going to be um, able to, you know, take that that punishment. Now, this fight, you know, seven years later, um, I think that Rumbasai, as you said, Danny, he's more of himself than Quadras is. Quadras has slowed down considerably. Um, since that fight, he's had 14 fights, and he's 9-4-1. And, and he also has two controversial um, majority decision wins. And then you couple that with the fact that he's coming off that 17-month layoff after being stopped in his last fight against um, Estrada. And that was a pretty a brutal fight that both guys, I think both, the, both guys had a, a little bit taken out of him. Um, in that fight, both guys went down and, you know, like I said, they were going at it in that match. And his, his momentum is definitely going in the wrong direction entering this fight against Sor Rambasai. And then Rambasai, since they fought in 2014, he's gone 24-1 with 17 KOs. And the only loss that he had was against Estrada. And that was a very close fight, you know. So just based on that, then like you said, also in the 24 wins, some of the fi fighters that he had um, since then, they're not really recognizable, but he did have two victories against Chocolatito since then. And then he's also had one win over Strata since then, although he had the loss in the rematch. Now, how this fight is going to play out, similarly to what you just said, Quadras, I don't think he'll be able to move around as effectively as he did back in 2014, and which is going to make him more stationary. You know, more stationary target against Sora Ramasai. Sora Ramasai is one fighter you do not want to sit in front of. And so I think that this fight is going to get real Sam Cassell and Welvin the Great. And so I got Ramasai by KO. Yeah, both you fellas made some uh, great points. Uh, and, and I'm with y'all. I see uh, Sora Ramasai stopping Quadras, Quadras late. Uh, I think. Uh, as y'all both stated, Quadras, Quadra, he more so peaked around 2014. Um, and even though, uh, so Rumbasai was, you know, pretty much peaking at that time also, I think in the last few years, Quadras has lost more. Um, I think he had more drop-off than so Rumbasai has. And I think that's just the style that um, Rumbasai has against um, Quadras, even watching the first fight. I think that style is going to be brutal on him. Not, and expect that two-year layoff, unless he's rested and, and has that fire under him, and I, it's hard to see that he's going to be all there for this fight. Even though he's going to give it his best effort, I'm not sure he's going to be... Uh, it's, it's hard to see him doing enough to, to win this fight. Uh, I think Ramasai is still... I'm not going to say he's in top form or peak form, but he's still a, a more of a major force in the 150-pound division than Quadras currently is, and I, and I did think that that fight against Estrada took a lot out of him. So um, I see, Rung, and plus Rumbasai, for some reason, even though he's a you know th these are both small guys, but especially so Rumbasai, he looks he always looks a lot thicker than the points he's in there. Like I remember when he was in there with uh, Gonzalez, he made Gonzalez like a little kid. Like Gonzalez was like two weight classes below him, so. Quadras, even though Quadras is, is, is big also, even then he still looks smaller than, than Rungvasai, and, and it, even though Quadras is probably a tad taller. So I think that brutality of Rungvasai is going to wear on Quadras, and, and it'll be a late stoppage. Um, anything else you guys want to share? Uh, 